on road along with the National Guard and Greenville Police as they patrolled the hardest hit areas today. The Tar River is expected to crest later today or tomorrow. Residents and property managers in the Wyndham Circle neighborhood continue to monitor the rising water levels surrounding their homes. The last couple of days, the water has risen considerably. ECU student Chandler Harrell's home has not been affected by floodwaters in this neighborhood. None of us can get here by car, but we can all we can all walk up to our houses. Nobody's got water around me so far. But most are completely surrounded. But there are some cars that are underwater, mailboxes, utility boxes. I mean, there's a lot underwater back there. I rode along with National Guard and Greenville Police for a closer look at the devastation in other neighborhoods. The first time I've been called for state actor duty, and it just happens to be for a hurricane. So I've never seen flood levels so high. They are using these high water trucks to maneuver through and monitor these flood areas. People who are flagging you down for evacuation, you know, making sure that no, you know, nobody's stuck or um, just making sure that everybody's like safe. Harold says even though his house is safe for now, he continues to help his neighbors. Anybody who's around us, we've all been offering help and the community has definitely come together. This is probably one of the most supportive communities I've ever encountered. In efforts to keep the community safe, the National Guard continues to patrol these areas at least twice a day. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side.